welcome back to a brand new speed build. Today I have a large family home and I'm very excited to share this build because I honestly should have posted this a very, very long time ago, but better late than never, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is just a regular kind of suburban, which I don't know if I'm imagining things or not, but I feel like it's been a little bit since I did just like a regular suburban because I've been doing a lot of other stuff. Um, I kind of focused more on like the um for rent ep that we got and then we got the castle kit and then i posted a couple of other builds and i just i don't know i just feel like i haven't posted a like true suburban in a hot minute which if you've been here before if you've been here honestly since i started this channel you will know that suburbans are my bread and butter i love building suburbans um i have been really like venturing out recently and like trying to build other stuff because i've been focusing so much on my save file so Honestly, I don't have that many Suburbans to build anymore because I don't have things for my save file or like places for my save in in my save file. God, I'm already messing up. But like I don't have um, lots in my save file that I can have Suburbans on anymore because I've filled them all up. Like Newcrest is complete. Um, Willow Creek is complete. Like at least when it comes to like the residential lots because I still have um, like community lots that I need to do in those worlds. But like there are not a lot of other worlds that i have room to build suburbans um i mean again we have new crest and willow creek which are like suburban worlds at least in my mind um i mean new crest you can kind of do whatever you want because new crest is just empty <laughs> to begin with but i feel like you either do modern there or you do suburban or like a mix of it and i have decided to do suburbans because once again my bread and butter it's what i love doing so suburbans over there um and then i mean we have Obviously, Copperdale, which is the world I'm building in today. Um, like, Sans and Koya now, which is a sort of a newish world. I mean, we got it last year um, with the uh, Growing Together EP. Um, and then, I don't know, what other worlds do we have that you can build, like, Suburbans in? I don't know. There's probably a few others that I'm, like, missing. But I feel like there's not a lot of other lots that I have left to build Suburbans on. Anyways, that's basically why I haven't gone suburbans in a bit. I feel like I've talked so much and said the word suburban so many times already that it's starting to lose meaning for me. But anyways, <laughs> like I said, this house is built in uh, Copperdale. So if you look at the map in Copperdale, there's like technically three different parts of this world. But I'm going to just say two because one part of the world is literally where the high school is. And there's only two lots and it's for the high school and auditorium and so like it's not really a place that i would build this house in and then it is the there's the town area and then in the bottom right i think <laughs> let me not get my lefts and rights confused here uh but i think it's like in the bottom right of the map there is the kind of more like wood area if that makes sense like there's a little bit more of a, like a woodland area and it's where the fairgrounds are and like where the you know the like fairies fa fairies the ferris wheel is and where you can go to like the pier and stuff like that like that's that's kind of where that is and this house is built in the more town area on a kind of like a hill there are a few different lots in this town area and i feel like two at least possibly i mean you could make the other ones into it but at least my save file two lots in this area are going to be like family homes so the first ever build i did with the high school year expansion pack actually was on that other lot in this area <laughs> and then there is this lot which is a 30 by 30 up on this kind of like hill and i have been putting off building this because again i don't have that many suburbans left to do so anytime I like I don't know again suburbans are like my comfort thing so anytime I'm like in a builder's block and I want to build like a suburban I kind of just put things off until those moments because like if I'm really in a building mood I can try building other stuff but if I am trying to like get back into my building and like trying to get out of builder's block or whatever builder's block I don't know if that's the right word maybe it is i don't know um but like if i'm trying to get back into building i gravitate towards suburban so i'm kind of like putting them off until the, i need suburbans if that makes sense anyways what i was trying to say with that is i have been putting off uh putting, putting off <laughs> god i can't talk i have been putting off building this and when i said that this has been a long time coming like in the beginning like i should have posted this earlier it's not to say that like I should have built this earlier. It's to say that I built this a very, very long time ago and it should have been posted. So I did put off building it, but then I did build it a year ago. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I, okay, I started building this in March last year and then I finished building it, I think in like July or June because I just took a break from building it and then I like went into it again. I do that with a lot of builds actually, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, when I started this build, I, it was in March last year. It's been almost a year since then. Um, and then again, I didn't build it. I didn't work on it until like last summer. And then I still have not posted the speed build because I honestly forgot about this build. Not gonna lie. Um, I think I've talked about before how I have a lot of builds that I've already built and like things that I just, I didn't, they're waiting in a folder for me to post and for me to edit. And because I only post one video a week because I cannot edit more than that, like I do this by myself, like I don't have anyone who edits for me or anything like that. Like I do this by myself. I do not have time <laughs> to edit more than one video a week. So, um, or maybe I would have time, but my like mentally, I could not do that. So like for my own well-being and for my time management and stuff like that, I only post one video a week. But I currently have, and I'm not even kidding, 20 builds that I have finished and that I just need to edit. And so I just, I forget about some of them sometimes, not gonna lie, especially if they're not like, I don't know, in a style I don't normally do or anything like that. Like this is just a regular Suburban. It's, it's not like forgettable, don't get me wrong, I do really like this build, but it's not like it's standing out in my memory, you know? And so I was, because this keeps happening, like this keeps happening in my head or in my life, in my thingy, um, I keep forgetting about builds. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take pictures of all the builds that I have done and that are finished. And then I'm going to put them into like kind of a spreadsheet just to see what builds I need to post. Right. And so I did that last week. <laughs> and after that, I was like, all right, this build and this build and this build. And then I didn't know what I was going to post this week. Um, I was a little bit unsure. I just, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. What do I want to post this week? I don't know. So I asked, um, I think I was like in a VC with like some of my friends or whatever. And I was like, hey guys, can someone say a number? And they said a number and that number corresponded to this build like in my folder. So thank my friends <laughs> for getting this to you now, uh, because otherwise it could have been, I don't know another like two years, not actually, but it could have been like a couple of weeks until you saw this, but now you're seeing this instead. So yeah, um, that's basically the story of this build and why I said <laughs> I should have posted this before because I really should have. Anyways, talking about this build, like I've said like thousands of times now, this is just a regular Suburban. It's built in Copperdale. Um, it's decorated and I say it's decorated because you could have whoever you want in here. I've said it before, I've said it, I'll say it again. You can have whatever you want in this build. I'm just saying how I decorated the rooms, but I decorated for two parents, one teen, two kids, and then I think a cat or a dog. I don't remember. It's either or. Um, but yeah, so it's like, it is it is a pretty decent size house. It's not like huge, but I did end up calling the house like a large family home because I mean, it, it, it's big. There's also like an office, which you couldn't turn into a bedroom if you want to. And like, it's, it's a roomy house. So like, it's a big house, but it's not like huge. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I wanted to have at least one teen in here because it is in Copperdale. And I feel like it would make sense <laughs> to have a teen because obviously Copperdale was the world we got with high school years, which is a very teen focused pack because you know, high school. Um, but then I also wanted to have like some kids and stuff like that. But then I didn't feel like this family would have any young children per se, like any toddlers or infants. So that's just the family dynamic I ended up going with. Again, you can have whoever you want in here. I don't really care. Um, I didn't really think of any particular personality for like the parents. I think in the office, I ended up putting the kind of like bulletin board thingy that we got with the dream home decorator, which like it looks like an interior designer <laughs> it kind of had it like there's a sofa on it there's a few different color swatches like it looks like an interior designer is like planning out things so maybe one of the parents is an interior designer i don't know um i think for my safe pile i might actually do that because i don't think that is something i tend to decorate a lot towards so for my safe file i might actually have just one of the parents um be an interior designer i'm not really sure um but for the kids i kind of had a little bit more of a thought because in general i feel like it's a lot easier to decorate like first off it's easier to decorate teens and kids rooms if you have somewhat of a personality in mind like it's it's a lot easier to like 
decide what posters to have on the walls and you know stuff like that but then also it's just easier to think of personalities for those um I don't know maybe that's just me I feel like in general parents are just like parents they're just there sometimes I forget about their interests um or like sometimes I will have like oh one of them is a painter and then I will have like a lot of different painting things like in the house but I don't have a lot of different personalities for parents so in general actually if you have any type of like specific family dynamic or any kind of like career that you want me to build a house for if that makes sense let me know like make a comment and I will try to do that when you will see that build I don't know <laughs> again I, I literally built this almost a year ago so you never know when you're gonna see a build from me however um <laughs> I can try, you know, I can try. I can try my best. Anyways, um, again, I was talking about the, um, like, kids and teen. So, the first kids room you will, or the first, like, room of the children of the house is a kids room that you will see me do. I, that doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, the first room is a very, like, pink and purple, uh, kids room, and I have said this before, but... It, it reminds me of my, like, childhood bedroom. Um, I've talked about before how, like, my childhood bedroom was very colorful. I had blue, pink, and teal walls, and everything in there was, like, blue, pink, or teal, and it, look, it was the kind of a very classic, generic, not maybe generic, but, like, a very typical, like, girls, teens, not teens room, but, like, girls, kids room, um, of course, I'm saying, like, typical girls' teens room because, like, that, that I, I was a girl. <laughs> I am a girl. <laughs> what do you think I was? I, I am a girl. And so, therefore, it, it was literally that is what it was. But, again, I'm saying stereotypically. Um, again, you can have whoever you want in that room, in this house. I don't care. I've talked about it before. It's, I will say it again. Like, if whenever I say stuff like that, like, oh, it kind of reminds me of, like, my kind of stereotypical, like girl kids room you know whatever I don't care whoever you have that's just again stereotypical I'm saying that for a reason anyways um I know <laughs> by the way like why I'm saying this is because like I don't want people to feel left out and I don't want people to think that I that's how I think because like I'm saying again stereotypical that is how it is um like that is that, that is how it, that is how it is I'm saying stereotypical because that is I, I was a girl and I was a kid and it reminds me of my room Yes, I feel like I'm confusing myself. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know, I was just thinking that that kid is very much a kid, and again, it reminds me of my old room, so maybe they're into things that I was into, I don't know, but um, I just put, like, again, a lot of just kid stuff in there, and I think I'm, I was going to say I put a drawing table in there, I can't, be 100% sure that I did. I feel like I did, though. I'm not 100% sure. Um, like, as a kid, like, again, I was thinking a lot of, like, my old kid's room and, or, like, my childhood bedroom, and I was a very crafty person when I was a kid. And not just, like, drawing, but I loved anything and everything to do with crafts. Like, I was a crafty person. So, I think I also kind of took inspiration from that into that bedroom. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's that bedroom. And then the second bedroom is for a more, like, sporty kid. So, that one ends up being, um, I don't know, it's kind of still kind of generic, but I did think that they, that kid is really into sports, but then also I did put a keyboard in there, so maybe they're also into music, and again, I feel like as a kid, you're kind of, like, still trying to explore, like, what you're into, maybe, so maybe you're into a lot of different things, I don't know, uh, but again, yeah, I put a lot more, like, sports things in there, I put a keyboard, um, Otherwise, I don't think that I could put anything like special like towards their interest. But like again, I think sports and kind of music and maybe just trying to figure out who they are because they're a kid. Or I was thinking maybe they're more like a preteen, but we don't have preteens in this game at least right now. I'm saying at least right now because I can always hope. I can always hope that we're going to have preteens. Do I think we're ever going to have them? No, but I can hope. I can hope. <laughs> but anyways, um, then the third bedroom or like the third room of the children's is the teens room and I love the teens room I don't feel like I've done a teens room like that ever or if or at least in a very long time um I decided to very much go into the pastel pop kit in there so I used the bed from the pastel pop kit and I used a lot of other like just pastel stuff and like cutesy stuff in that room and I had so much fun 
I I don't know. I just had so much fun because again, it is very much something that as a kid I wanted, and then now that I am, I guess te- yeah. I mean, I am a teen, so I mean, it would be basically like how my room is now. It's the opposite of that. <laughs> I've talked about before how I have a more like. I don't know, like, I have tarot cards everywhere, I'm very much into, like, the Wicca aesthetic and stuff like that, so it's definitely not how I imagined my room to be as a kid. If 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 I were to imagine my room, like, when I was a kid and I imagined my, my teen's room, it would be more how the teen's room in this house ends up looking like, so I feel like maybe the, like, child of the room, the, like, the pink, the, the, the child that lives in, like, the kind of, like, pink and purple room, maybe they really look up to their older sibling because that's kind of like how they want to have it as well. I don't know. That's just kind of how I was thinking because again, it kind of reminds me of myself as a kid. And I mean, I looked up to my brother a lot and I liked his room and his room was not like that because again, my brother, like when I was a kid, my brother was a teen because he's eight years older than me. Um, and his room was like, my mom had painted um, like some like game characters and stuff like that on his walls. And he had a very like stereotypical like teens boys room like you guy who loves gaming (laughs) like like that type of room so I mean I really like that room and looked up to his like I really like I wanted that room as a kid too but like maybe not with the gaming stuff I think I just liked it because it was a little bit bigger than mine but (laughs) anyways I was thinking that the child that that first child that I was talking about like that bedroom like the person who lives in the first bedroom that I was talking about God, I'm really confusing myself today. Um, really looks up to the teen in this house and like, I don't know, maybe they're like pretty close and stuff like that. I don't know. Anyways, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. This is the, I think, seventh time I'm trying to record this voiceover. So I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have a raging headache and I am very tired. And I honestly <laughs> wish that I could just like go to sleep. Like, but right before I pressed record for this, I was literally laying in bed. I don't know, I was like, oh, it would be so nice to like, because I had this raging headache. So I was like, I'm just going to go lay down for a bit. And then I was like, I'm almost falling asleep. But then I realized that I I had to do this um, because this video is supposed to go up tomorrow. And if I do not record this voiceover right now, I will not be able to get it up tomorrow. So yeah, I am sorry for how I'm speaking. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I don't know. I feel like my voice might be a little bit different too because I am so tired and because like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just... I feel off today. I just feel off and I don't know why. I just, I'm tired and I want to sleep and I, I don't feel sick, but I just don't feel well. You know, I just feel a little bit under the weather. Um, but yeah, (laughs) anyways, going back to talk about this house, um, I, you will have seen, like, we are already like, what, like more than halfway into this video. (laughs) Actually, no, we're not even halfway into this video. We're like, we're like 15 minutes into this video and you've already seen me do the exterior and stuff like that. Um, However, I will do the backyard at the end of the video, by the way. So like, if you're wondering where that is, it will be at the end of the video. I don't, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I like, I do the exterior and then I'm like, I want to do an interior before I do the backyard. And then sometimes I do the backyard before I do the exterior. So You never really know what's gonna happen, (laughs) but yeah, for this one, um, the backyard ends up being last. I mean, of course, I do have the timestamp, so if you really do or had wondered where the backyard was, you would have might already have seen that the backyard is last, but anyways, um, I struggled with the shape of this house. Like, you've already seen me do the shape of this house, but I struggled, and I don't know why, and I Again, I built this a long time ago, so I don't even remember my thinking. I just, when I was editing this, like, the past week, I was like, wow, I was really struggling. (laughs) And I don't know why, I just was. And you would have seen me do some changes off cam, specifically to the back of the build. And so, yeah, because I, like, I changed the back of the build when I was doing the floor plan because it just wasn't working out. So, the back of the build will look a little bit different to how you originally saw me build it, but yeah, just, just roll with it. <laughs> just roll with it. I will not take questions at this time. I will just leave it be. <laughs> and yeah, um, otherwise I don't know if there's anything else I want to really mention about this build. I went for a very like light and bright color scheme. I had a lot of fun with it. It's kind of like my typical suburban where like I was just like feeling at home with it and just having fun with it. It was, again, it was just really fun and I love making these types of things. Again, I did build it like a long time ago and it was kind of fun to see like 
if I were to build this now, I would have done some like things differently, which is kind of interesting because, sorry if I'm talking too fast, I just realized I'm talking pretty fast. But anytime I have a build like this where I like I built it a little bit ago and then like now I'm editing it or looking back at it or whatever, I, it's interesting to see how like it's all, it's not even been a year. It's been like well maybe like six or seven months since I actually finished this build, but still I have changed as a builder a little bit and I like see things that I would do differently now or things that I would include or exclude now and stuff like that so it's kind of interesting to see um and I don't know it's, I mean it happens a lot like if I look back at my speed builds that I did like two years ago those builds look well they look like mine do now so I was gonna say they look nothing alike from what I do now which is incorrect but like I feel like they I don't know I you could see a difference I don't know if that's just me but like I feel like I've grown as a builder a lot the past like two years especially and it's just interesting to see I mean also we have like in the past year we got like three expansion packs which was insane and I still question the sims team for that like don't get me wrong I'm really happy about it and I'm really happy about the content that we've gotten because all three expansion packs that we have gotten were amazing like I love growing together I love um the horse ranch expansion pack i love the for rent expansion pack like those are some of my favorite ones um the, this past year we've gotten some of my favorite kits as well and so like don't get me wrong i'm really happy about the extra content but like what were the sims team on like <laughs> had they like gone into a meeting and they were like all drunk and they were like okay this is what we're gonna do this year and then realized that like oh now we have to live up to this and actually deliver all this content which is kind of funny because i feel like we haven't gotten that much content in a very long time i mean we even got the return of stuff packs which is insane um which again when i built this we didn't have the um home chef fossil stuff pack which is weird to think of because like now we've had it for a few months so now i'm like anytime i build i'm like oh the mixer and like the or the stand standing mixer the thingy <laughs> that you can bake with and like the like oh i can put the sink and like the you know the, like those types of stuff but i obviously i didn't have it when i built this and that's kind of weird to think of which is why i need to post builds more accurately to when i build them <laughs> like if i like i'm currently in the middle of building like two different things um well a few different things actually but like specifically two different things and i'm like if i don't post these two like in the next like two months there's going to be like new things that have come out and i'm like oh i should have included this <laughs> and i hate that i don't like post things according to when i build them but i just i do not have time i wish i could have like another editor so i could actually build or like post more um also because like i love the posting videos like i love the interaction i have with you guys and i wish i could do it more but i can't sadly um i mean if any of you likes editing and would do it for free let me know but like <laughs> i also have some control issues and like i don't know if i would want to leave like the editing over into someone else's hands like that would give me a little bit of anxiety um i have done it before um with like a friend uh, like a couple of years ago and that still gave me a lot of anxiety so i don't know and that's someone who i trusted so <laughs> you never know you never really know with me anyways um i don't know was there anything else i want to talk about when it came to this build i don't think so as always like if you have any questions about this build at all let me know um i will answer them down below i will answer them all um you can download this from the gallery by the way if you want to my gallery id is a sims 04 um and the tray files will be linked down below if i have forgotten to put out the tray files when you see this build if they're not linked down below someone yell at me in the comments please do it um sometimes i put them out like the same like a, the same day or like a couple of days after and then sometimes i forget and then there's like been four weeks and i'm like oh right i have to post the tray file <laughs> like i forget about that time that, that, that the, the, i forget about that type of stuff sometimes you know anyways <laughs> what am i even saying i don't really don't i'm so sorry for this voiceover again i'm tired and i i'm just i don't know i've just been out of it this entire day i mean i woke up at like 2 a.m because i fell asleep yesterday accidentally at like 3 p.m and then i slept for 12 hours and i didn't mean to i was just gonna take a nap because I, again i had this headache yesterday too and i think it's just because i haven't been drinking water like today i've been drinking like three or four cups of tea <laughs> 
<laughs> and a monster. And so I think maybe I just need some water. And like yesterday I only drank monster. So again, I think I need some water. Anyways, um, I woke up at like 2 a.m. And now it is, let me check the time. It is 940. I really thought it was 11. It's only nine. I, wait, I swear last time I checked the clock, like the time it was 10. I swear. <laughs> the, the time just changed. I swear, like, I was downstairs getting food, and I thought it was, like, 10, but the last time, but that was, like, two or three hours ago, so, and I guess not. Oh, my God, it's only nine. Oh, dear Lord. I have time, then. I was really stressing about, like, getting this, like, edited and stuff like that for tomorrow, but I I, I have time. We're chilling. We're fine. That's great. Um... <laughs> Maybe I'm confusing this with yesterday because yesterday I think I woke up at like 6 a.m. Once again, don't ask me why. I am I am a night person, but I my sleep schedule has been so off recently. So I woke up at like 6 a.m. yesterday and then... Oh, maybe that was yesterday that I was making food around 10. I don't know. Anyways, I... I don't. Uh, why did I even start talking about this? I genuinely don't know. <laughs> I am so sorry for this voiceover. Again, I am tired and I want to sleep, but I will not sleep because I have school tomorrow, so I have to like be awake today and then fall asleep somewhat towards the night hours. When I say night hours, I mean like I'll probably fall asleep at like se- seven. <laughs> I mean at five, um, like 5 p.m. and then wake up at some point tomorrow. I don't know. Again, you never know with me. The thing now though is that like my friends are asleep now, so... I get to do just, oh, that means that I get to do my own stuff for a few hours, which is great because like when I say I want to do my own stuff, I mean, I will be listening to true crime podcasts and building in Sims. That is what I do when I'm just by myself and I don't have to talk to anyone else. Like I still build when I'm with other people, but I don't listen to my podcast. Like I will just um, listen to music, but obviously today I can... Like, when I'm, or today, I meant, well, like, when I'm not with people, I can listen to podcasts because I'm not going to be listening to a podcast and talking to people. I cannot do that. <laughs> My mind cannot do that. Um, I probably will also play some Val later at some point, but anyways, um, again, I don't think there's anything else to talk about the build, so that's why I'm rambling about me. <laughs> how are you guys? I hope you guys are good. Um, I have already told you how I am. I'm not going to repeat that like five times. Sorry if you heard my dad cough. I have to record this during the day now and my dad is apparently up. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. What have I been doing this past week? I genuinely have just been building in Sims and editing and listening to music, listening to podcasts and talking to friends. That is all I've been doing. (laughs) I am not even kidding. Like that's literally all I've been doing and that's, that is my life. I mean, I went to school and then I had, I had work Saturday um, which is fun, um, which, like, I, I don't know if I, I've mentioned a few times that I, like, work, and basically, with my work, um, because I work at a pharmacy, and I obviously do not have, like, a pharmaceutical, like, degree. I am not allowed to give out prescription medication. I am not a pharmacist. I cannot do that. However, my aunt is, (laughs) and, um, they needed, like, extra personnel, like, you know, at her job to just, like, do things like in you know how if you go into pharmacy at least here in sweden i don't know how it is in different countries because different countries have different laws when it comes to medicine and stuff like that but basically if you go into a pharmacy you can either get like prescriptions which like they have in the back like they don't have that like out in the front of things but then if you just need like i don't know like some ibuprofen or like i don't know uh i don't know some lotion or whatever like you know things they sell at a pharmacy like if you just need like things that are in prescription prescribed there we go um there's like our general area if that makes sense and that is where i do my thing like i that's like i am a um cashier person and i like i'm not allowed to give medical advice by the way like don't worry i am not giving medical advice to people (laughs) but like if someone asks where something is i can show them and if they want to know like the difference between like two different brands i will know that stuff too but as soon as it comes to like medical stuff and like medical advice and you know stuff like that like dosage of things i bring in my one of my colleagues because i do not want to be responsible for someone taking medication wrong (laughs) that will not be on my hands nope that illegally i'm not allowed to um but basically um i work in like the cashier thing basically and so because like at this time of year it's pretty slow because 
Um, where I live, it's very much a like touristy type of like summer town because I live by the coast. Um, so basically they don't need me as much right now. Like during summer, I will have like a consistent schedule. It's it would be kind of like a summer job because like I will have a consistent schedule and stuff like that. But currently, like because they don't need me every single week, they my boss just texts me and she's like, hey, could you come in and like work today? And I'm like, yes, I can. <laughs> so I'm kind of just on demand. Like whenever they need me, I, I'm i there. So my boss texted me asking if I could work um, like Saturday. And I was like, yeah, sure. I said, as I, and then I woke up at like 2 a.m. that day as well. So I woke up at 2 a.m. and then I worked and then I got home and I was so tired because <laughs> I had worked on like, I don't know, not actually, I'd, I'd gotten like my fair amount of sleep, but just like waking up at 2 a.m. and then working is not great. Um, but yeah, anyways, I worked. Um, that was a very long winded this or like explanation of why I worked Saturday. Um, and like why I was like, oh, right, I did that because I wasn't scheduled to, but it was it was fun. I, I love my job, by the way, like I love working there. Um, I don't know, I just it's a lot of fun. I don't know, I get to meet people, which is kind of weird that I would like that because I'm an introvert and I have social anxiety but um it is like in that type of setting it's kind of fine because again like I can at any time just be like hey colleague can you help because I am not allowed to or like I don't I can't um so it's kind of it's not as much pressure on me I guess and I I don't know I like doing the kind of like because I also get to like unpack things and like put in medication into um like, the drawers and stuff like that, and, like, you know, do whatever things p people do. I'm allowed to do that stuff, too, so I do that, too, and I don't know, I just, I kind of like it. It's kind of a fun job. I don't know, it's kind of fun, and I like that I am able to then just, like, go home and then leave my job there and not have to think about it when I get home, because, <laughs> like, what am I gonna think about? Like, oh, I have to make sure, like, I do this and this, like, no, I don't have responsibilities, really, at my work, so I'm fine. Anyways, um, what else have I been doing? Not much. I've continued watching Shameless. It's really good. I'm on like season eight now. <laughs> I think in my last week's video, I talked about how I was on like season two and I am on season eight now. So I, I, yeah, I watch, a sh I watch shows very quickly. Like if I like a show, I will watch it very, very quickly because I don't know. I have issues. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think, figure out like what else I've done. Oh my God. I've, <laughs> I dyed my hair. I did that. I dyed my hair. Um, I, it, like, if you've been here before, I feel like I've talked about this before a lot, but I dyed my hair a lot. <laughs> Maybe not, like, a lot, a lot, but, like, last year I dyed my hair a lot. I had, let's see here, I had, like, red-ish hair to begin with, like, in the beginning of the year, and then I bleached it, and then I had purple hair, and then I had blue hair, and then I had a kind of, like, plum colored hair and then I had red hair again red hair is kind of like where I go back to and I am I'm a natural blonde by the way like I am a natural kind of like strawberry blonde so sometimes when people look at me they're like oh you're a blonde and then like when I had my natural hair color they're like oh you're a blonde and then they will see and like another light or another picture and they'll be like wait are you ginger <laughs> Because I do really have like a strawberry blonde like natural hair color. I am very much a Swede like very much a Swede <laughs> Like I am blonde blue-eyed as white as humanly possible. It's kind of funny um, <laughs> Like it's actually really really funny because like I can't even go out in the Sun like at all I just burn um, I am the most too stereotypical Sweden person Sweden person Swedish person you will ever meet like honestly um, but anyways <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just have my natural hair color as, like, blonde slash red slash, like, strawberry blonde. Like, that's my natural hair color. But I have been dyeing my hair. I mean, I started dyeing my hair when I was young, like, very young. And I had, had like, a few different hair colors. Like, I've had, I guess, like, all of the ones that you would think of. I haven't had green and I haven't had, like, yellow and stuff like that. But I've had, like, pink, purple, blue, um, like, red, like, a dark purple, light purple, like, all of that, um, I, I've had a, quite a few different ones, but I, I don't know, I just, I like dyeing my hair, and red is what I always come back to, like, red is kind of what I, I don't know, I like it, and when I say red, I don't mean, like, really, like, bright red, I mean more of a, like, darker kind of auburn slash purple-ish, because, like, I, the hair color I usually use has a, like, it's, 
it's red but then it also has some like purple tints to it which is great because that is like that is the one i use mostly and that is what i feel the most at home in but i have been so sick of my roots growing in <laughs> like i was so sick of it recently so like this monday like the past week this monday i just i i, I was like this is enough i am buying hair color i'm dyeing my hair so now i'm blonde again however because i had that kind of like faded red in it didn't become like really really blonde it kind of became again kind of like a strawberry blonde so basically i have my natural hair color right now which feels really weird because i have not had my natural hair color since i think like 2020 i think yeah something like that and so it's been like four years i don't particularly i well i, I like my natural hair color again i just feel more at home with red so this might only last me a week I don't know, maybe in next week's voiceover you will hear me say like, hey guys, I told you, I am now a redhead again. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, currently I'm back to my natural hair color. Why am I talking about this? I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. This is what you get. <laughs> again, I feel like if you've been here before, this is what you're here for. You're just here for my rambles at this point because my rambles are part of this channel. Like, you cannot watch my videos just for the build at this point. You have to watch my videos for the rambles as well. They just come with me. They're just part of the package, you know? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Like, do you guys dye your hair? And, like, what do you dye? Like, what's your go-to color? Because I feel like everyone has that kind of, like, go-to color, especially, especially <laughs> if you... Um, like dye your hair a lot like I do um like I will experiment with a lot and then I will just go back to like my natural not my natural hair color but like my go-to hair color like last year again I had had like red hair or like red slash again like kind of like red slash purple hair color um that I have normally which kind of it looks more purple when I right when I, when I dye it and then it kind of fades into this like red um so basically I'd had like red for a couple of years um and then last year in march i think it was actually i think right around when i started building this house ironically um i i um i was like i want to change and so i dyed my hair like i bleached it and then i had purple but it was kind of this like silvery purple which i loved but it was only like it only lasted like two weeks if not i think it was like maybe a week which sucked so i would have really liked to have that hair color again but i just it didn't last and then right after that like literally again when the purple faded like a week or two later i went to um i went to i dyed my hair blue out of all colors and then i had that for a couple months and then i switched back to red again because that is my home and it was kind of funny because i when i was in athens last year i had blue hair and my mom thought it was so convenient because anywhere we went like no one else had blue hair because it was like it was very blue it was very very like the bluest of blue <laughs> and it was great because my mom could see me anywhere like because where we went like no one really had blue hair like that so she could just see me in any crowd and it was great and like when we were at the airport and stuff like that like she could see me which was great um for her <laughs> and then i remember like she posted pictures of us like in athens like when we were together like you know we took some pictures together and she posted them on like her facebook or whatever and like so many of her friends and like colleagues and stuff like that like said like oh that's so great that she dyed her hair blue because she was going to greece because obviously uh greece's flag is blue and white and i was like that's not the reason i did it but it worked <laughs> like if you want to believe i dyed my hair for greece then i'm i'm not gonna say against it like it worked i guess <laughs> but i did love having blue hair like i really did like it specifically again i have really blue eyes so it kind of like brought that out but if you've had blue hair before you will know that that kind of just fades to green or kind of like this turquoisey color very quickly and then it's really hard to get out like the only way i got it out like i bleached my hair like i tried to get it out with bleach didn't work the only thing that worked was dyeing my hair red on top of it and even then i had to do it like three times before the blue started showing like when the before wait huh <laughs> until the blue stopped showing and even now like when i bleached my hair now there's still like some bluish green at the tops which are the ends the tops what at the end of my hair so um i'm getting my dead hand my dead hand wow it's good that this video is almost done um but i'm getting my um dead ends like chopped off um this week so it's fine but yeah it's like that blue hair color 
like does not go away anyways that's basically it for this video and i really hope you liked it and don't forget to like share comment and of course subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye